Powered by the Montana Television Network. The 10 o'clock news continues on KPAX, Montana's news leader. A quilt often goes hand in hand with warm and cozy. It might even go along with an image of hot cocoa by the fire. But a billions woman is defined what we know of quilts in her artwork. Q2's Asia Gore has the story. When Barbara Olson sits down at her sewing machine, she listens for a rhythm. There's a cadence. There's my feet, the sound of the machine, my hands. Her hands move to the beat of the machine, a mechanical heartbeat pumping life into her work. Olson has threaded needles and aligned fabric for decades, but the seamstress gave up dressmaking years ago. I have never looked back. I have never made a garment. I haven't mended anything since then. Olson is a quilt artist. She also considers herself a rule breaker. I could never follow the rules. There used to be a law that you could not cross over one piece of stitching with the next piece of stitching, or the quilt police would come. <laughs> Her work, these beautifully, intricately patterned quilts, are statement makers. For years, I was only doing big quilts. I couldn't say what I wanted to say in a small format, so they always kept getting big. Today, Olson's quilts are much smaller, some no bigger than a game board. This one tells a story of loss, grief, and healing. Kind of like a time stamp for you. You look at this one and you immediately think of your mother? Yes. Over the years, Olson has found her voice, and now she's using it to push the art world to open its mind. Olson says quilting only recently gained acceptance as an art, not a craft. Until now, gallery owners and museums often believed these quilts were better suited around a person's shoulders than on display. It's not a traditional quilt that you get to wrap up in. In fact, uh, I made a quilt once and it had a lot of spirals in it and I put it on the bed and my husband wanted it off the bed. He swore that all those little spirals were getting him at night. <laughs> and besides, she says, they're not comfortable anyway. In Billings, I'm Asia Gore, MTN News. Olson's art quilts have recently made it onto the walls of a few museums in the south. Now coming up after this break, Under the Big Sky presents a documentary type series on a local business's impact on their community. And Mitch Schaefer will have game scores from the first NFL Sunday. This and more coming up.